right guys we're back with the arma cool bus i said a school bus we're gonna call it it's gonna be on a 3s 6500 milliamp or no 6200 milliamp sorry you give me a second and we'll get it all set up put together start on the road i'm not gonna do a speed test because this car is capable of doing 60 to 70 miles an hour easy these tires won't handle that though there's more or less or monster truck looks give me one second here we go guys all our lights are on I know that wheel wobbles is because of the fucking keyway or hexway, what you gonna call it for that wheel. It's a little worn out. Like I said, it's not for speed, it's for having fun. <laughs> Easily pulls it to the wheel. I can pull Willie almost at any speed. <laughs> Look at this. I wonder if they have to get in the bumper. They got the bumper a little bit when it stood up real hard. But it's mainly, mainly hitting the wheels as long as they don't go too high. Damn! You can get in the throttle and just make that much harder pull, will it? At any time. That's like a 40 mile an hour wheelie. <laughs> And this is just on 3S. Wow! I think my front tires come off the uh, rim. It looks like they're vibrating off a lot. That's a lot of reason why some of it vibrates too. Is my glue coming in? Not yet. Yeah, I'm really glad I put the plastic piece with the back seats back in there for the rear bumper. That helps a lot of support. I want to feel the motor, see how it feels. It's not hot at all. It's a little warm, but it's got the biggest pinion you can put in at 26 tooth. Other than if you follow it out, I know you can put a 27 tooth in, but it's not worth it.
Look at that. Didn't even roll over on a hill turning. Those typhoon orange are awesome. Sadie wants to play. This will be the last time until this weekend that we're gonna get to play through here, guys, because we're having a driveway put in. So we gotta enjoy it while we can. <laughs> Wheelie machine loves it, loves it. I love how it throws the ass in around. See? We'll put our flag back real quick. So the driveway man knows where the gas line is. I'm gonna pull the ramp out real quick. Probably have to move the ramp somewhere else. We might have to start jumping from over there, but I got all this shit in the way. So, we don't know how this is going to go yet. Uh, my ramp is literally made out of just junk wood I had sitting around. Well, that's the first time we jumped it. All the lights are still on. That means all my stuff's holding up. Apparently I did a wheelie so hard that it actually rubbed these aluminum light bezels and the lights. You can see where that one got cracked. It's exposed. Which, like I said, it's mainly because these big tires. These are a lot bigger than 2.8 that are supposed to be on the granite. That's a hell of a jump there. Sadie! What'd you do to it? Oh god, that axle is bent like a motherfucker, apparently. Look at it. Good thing I got another one in there. I love this because you're just creeping around, literally. It's just no throttle at all, pretty much. Double back with. Everything's alive. Uh oh. We lost a body clip. We have to be careful with the body now.
I think I'm already getting hot now. <laughs> Just turn the cog. Ah, oh, hard hitting rear end. Oh. Yeah, I better quit before I end up breaking shit. Cause I don't want to break that body off there. It's just hanging right now. But I mean, for real, for real. You can see that wheel wobbling. I do like these A-arms though a lot. I don't know if it's necessarily the motor as much as it's probably the ESC. So I'll go in here and we'll check the temperature of it. And knock everything over while we're at it. Ah. I'll tell you why the back body could come out here in a second. Is because the body clips are facing outwards instead of inwards. When I smash on the side, it popped that clip right out like it was nothing. Excuse the darkness for a second. The truck will light our way. See how bright that shit is? But, it's a little difficult to get on and off, but I don't really give a shit. The whole point was to make the bus. We got, we can see where we're hammering down real hard right here. I got some styrofoam there to help take the cushion. But, everything seems to still be intact. We'll unhook our body battery. And I know it's been sitting there for a second. Here it is, right in front of me. Temperature, 63 degrees, motor. Not bad. Why oh, is cogging so bad then? Could've just gotten warm. Front end still a little heavy, I feel like. Plus, my uh, servo saver got that much play in it, which sucks. Because I got brand new aluminum ball ends and Typhoon control arms and lower control arms on everything. And a brand new set of ZD DBT 0B or 8, I don't know for sure. I'm trying to think it's an 8, but it's not bad. It's heavy in the rear end. I got the same shock hole. And the front end still drops more. Best part of this man, nothing broke. Even with that kind of shitty land in there. I think adding this capacitor on, I did this uh, a few weeks ago, which I ain't drove it since then. It's a little warm. Uh, I think it's helped out a lot. Everything under here with a little warm. It's all cool now. Turn it off. Go ahead and hook this battery. Do 
the battery with the same temperature as everything else also. So it just warmed up. Nothing crazy. But I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I don't remember if actually I'll have to pick it back up, but I know one of these, it's probably this guy right here, looks like possibly. Because you can see how worn out it is. It's wobbling all over the place. I say that's the only thing that sucks about putting the Typhoon stuff on there is it extends your control arms out so far. It gives less structure for stuff to lock together because there's just four keyways that are in there. Two are bigger, two are smaller and they lock into each other. Well, the more you have in there, the stronger it'll be but the further you pull it away, the less contact you're going to have. Instead of this much contact, you'll have this much contact. So as you're still moving in and out, but you're, you're not having the complete contact you have with the granite arms that are completely embedded almost. They have like a little bit of play just to be able to go in and out. But these sit way out, you know, to where they have a lot of movement in and out. So it means that there's not as much drive shaft coupler coupled together for structure. But other than that, I hope that you guys Enjoy this video. Me and our cool bus driver. I hope this guys, this was just as fun for you guys as it was for me. You guys have a good day.